Any band that wants to make money off their music is gonna have to sell merch. And usually it's not too bad. Everyone has at least one or two band shirts in their closet. But for some band merch, it's probably better that it never leaves the closet in the first place. Today, we're here to talk about some of the most cursed band merch we could find. And the best part, both of us prepared our own cursed merch presentation to show the other person who hasn't seen it yet. Okay, so I'm gonna do more from like like the emo, indie, possibly even country side of things because you covered a lot of the metal stuff. So first off, a pretty classic a bootleg example by Modern Baseball. I think this one's pretty funny because bro actually does look like that. No, like honestly, Josh Peck, he is no, the yeah, same weight as yeah, the Modern Baseball frontman. Yeah. Essentially, yeah. Drake and Josh came out like 2003, 2004. Yeah. And he's like this kid who's like into, into guitar, into rock. So he was he was probably dabbling into like Dashboard Confessional and Sunny Day Real Estate and stuff like that. So if you were to grow up now, he probably would have been into like Midwest emo and Modern Baseball and stuff like that. The music taste for his character really lines up with a lot of his future actions too. But again, that's neither here nor there. You know, I just think it's a little interesting observation, so. No, it, it's it's downright fascinating to me. More bootleg merch. This time it, it, we're, we're mending two um, pop culture icons together. Their music between Radiohead and Ice Spice, in, whether in a good or bad way, has definitely profoundly changed uh, the youth. The youth. And has touched my soul in one way or another. So Ice Spice looks like Tom York if he went under like a little bit of surgery, like lip fillers, you know, got some good makeup on, like did his lashes and everything. I just got to love it. I love it. So this next one, it, it's less so about one specific piece of merch and more about a trend in general. Uh, back the, the 2014 style yes. uh, on Tumblr of taking Disney princesses and reimagining them in band merch and making them like scene. I don't know who was doing this. I don't know why. Why they're doing it but i love it so much and i want to inject it into my veins it's the worst parts of all the aesthetics that it's taking from in this case like metalcore scene into this big amalgamation that it turns uh, them into something beautiful right it'd be interesting to see if in like 10 years um people start doing edits like this ken carson exactly. and like, like opium opium, girls, opium yeah. stuff all right so this one's gonna be a bit of a doozy what artists made this piece of merch i am totally lost rascal flats Makes sense. Okay. Okay, I can now, see that. See, now it makes sense because you just put it together. Oh, this is named after Melt, their 2002 album that went platinum in America three times over and went gold in Canada. But just thinking about the character of Rascal Flatts, he's a rascal. Of course he's going to make Rascal, rascal Flatts is a band. It's not a person. Well, I'm sure everybody there embodies the characteristic of a <laughs> rascal. So I'm just imagining the situation where like a wife ordered this, thinking that her husband would find it attractive. Uh, he's like, damn it, I hate Rascal Flatts. That's how people talk. <laughs> he hates <laughs> Rascal Flatts. That's, that's what bothers him about yeah. it. I love the way your body looks. I just hate Rascal Flatts. <laughs> he also is dying of cancer. <laughs> Honey, I wore my Rascal Flats thong for you on your deathbed. <clears throat> I damn it, I hate Rascal Flats. Why would you? <laughs> and he died. He died with his eyes open. That was the last thing he saw. Speaking of, of country merch, I was looking for some bed sheets I could find. And, oh, that's not it. So I found some Blake Shelton bedspread. And then I realized that there's actually like, all these Chinese AI websites that just pull random celebrities' faces and, and puts them onto things. That's how they make these. And so the, the software that they use, like, doesn't work well with faces because yeah. of the way it distorts them. This looks like a YTP thumbnail. It does. And so I found more. Oh, that's a beautiful couple moment right there. Yeah. And I don't even know who this guy is, but his abs look super messed up and stretched out. He's on the Olympic rings over there. This one was really funny to me. This is merch for Beartooth, which is like a metalcore band. Yeah. Except that picture isn't them. That picture is the Wonder Years, which is a totally different band. So this next one, it's not technically band merch, but I think that it is. It just represents the kid who's like into video game OSTs. That exact brand of hiking boots. Dude, Keen, it's it's not the fit without the Keen boots. Look, yeah. you could switch out the Legend of Zelda shirt for anything else. Khakis, you know, you could get those in for some camo cargos, right? But dude, the Keen boots, you need the Keen. Because they're not thinking from a stylistic perspective. They're thinking, they're I got to They're pragmatic, yeah. They're, they're so pragmatic. They're like, my next class is on the other side of campus. I have to sprint over there. And for the winter months, they're still wearing the cargo shorts, but they're all also wearing a navy blue zip-up hoodie. When I was in high school, one of my neighbors actually did that exactly, except switch out the uh, Legend of Zelda shirt for a polo shirt. Another key moment with that kid is I remember we were on the bus together. He pulled out his iPhone. He started playing that song, The uh, Piano Man. Oh, yeah. And uh, he's like, man, what a great song. Oh, yeah. These guys are also like really into classic rock. And he played it for all the 
people sitting around him. 6.30 a.m. in the morning, you know, on yeah. a cold bus uh, going down to a high school nobody wants to be at. It's so interesting to see how this outfit has transcended time because I remember seeing camp counselors when I was a kid wear this outfit. Literally to a T. The exact same shirt, yeah. the exact same pants, the exact same shoes. No, it, it, it's crazy. This fit really is eternal. Of course, he had to include Arya's merch. So on the left, we have I Love Goth Girls, Spencer's Lude Design type. And look at that. It's printed on Guild. And on the right, we have the mentally ill Von Dutch cat. So for those of you who don't know, we made a video about Arya, who's this guy that blew up off of TikTok. And uh, a lot of people were accusing him of being an industry plant, so we made a video about that. And so he ended up making a response to, to our video. He only got about 8,000. And the number one comments in support of him is by the same video production company that produced the music video that we reacted to. <laughs> Aria, you know, the offer's still out. We want to make a song with you. No, no, for real. Like, we are. So we want to make a song with you, Aria. Yeah, so, you know, hit us up, man. DM us, email us, whatever. I really hate to keep clowning on him because it makes me feel like a dar man bully. But another thing that he did was release merch based off of our reaction video and it didn't sell <laughs> so i wanted to take a second to talk about celebrities that wear band merch for bands that they obviously do not listen to mm. uh, this sort of thing really pisses me off because it really devalues the sound of the artist and their art because it takes their art and it replaces it with this generic you know fashion statement and these celebrities just end up you know devaluing it and so that's really what upsets, well, th this one actually doesn't upset me too bad. Okay, so this is my merch presentation. Uh, what do you think about this? Um, I, I really like how they put Yeet in, in Gravity Falls. What are your thoughts on the EOS lip balm over there? Um, I don't use lip balm because I'm a dude. Okay, fair enough. Let's get on to the first piece of merchandise over here. What are your thoughts on this piece of merch? Who do you think it could be a piece of merch for? Probably like a metalcore band, anywhere between 2006 and 2014. If the metal band you were thinking about was Attila, you'd be okay, right. Okay, perfect, I got it. It was a little bit controversial, not for the obvious reasons what's yeah. on the shirt, more with how lazy it was in its design. Yeah. What are your thoughts on this this beautiful piece of Attila merch over here? I, uh, I, th I think it goes pretty hard. I mean, like if I was 14. I got in trouble when I was in high school for wearing a uh, fake Wu-Tang shirt I made your teacher called you out for because he could tell it, it was fake and then he called you a poser Is that yeah what the shirt that got me in trouble was a Wu-Tang shirt that I made it said protect your neck yeah. and it was a piece of printer paper drawn with that design over it I taped it to my shirt that day I don't know why I wanted to make a statement I just thought it would be kind of cool I was like I wore that to science class which was first period and the teacher who was a fan of Wu-Tang saw that and said no I still got to call the principal on you and there was like three four people inside the principal's office that were all waiting to see the shirt I kind I just wanted to show you a little bit of the, the genius behind their, their merchandise. Masturbating is cool. God is fake. Do what you want. Oh, and that's Franz right there modeling it. Is Franz active on r slash goon cave? What is really interesting to me is that why did he put masturbating is cool first? Like he could have put anything in there and then God is fake, do what you want. But why masturbating is cool? Probably because that, that's, that's the first thought on his mind at any given point in time or like when he wakes up in the morning. It's like masturbation, you know, it, it, it's, it's like an on switch. Oh. Bussy Boy Intimate Cleansing Bar, Lighten and Titan. Is this a, a, a K-pop thing? The person who released this was Azalea, Azalea Banks. Ba that makes sense. The idea behind this soap was that basically it was for men. Um, and it yeah. had a bleaching effect and, you know, just kind of a refreshing effect on your private areas. I could see this product getting used on like an NSFW version of, of Willy Wonka where like, like one of the kids steals the bussy boy soap and he uses it and he turns into like a, a big blue bussy. <laughs> and the Oompa Loompas have to push him into the bussy draining room. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you understand that Azalea Banks is a little yeah. bit of this gossiper kind of yeah. character, but I kind of wanted to run you through some of their gossip. There's a running joke that you could look up your birthday, yeah. and there would be a controversy that happened with Azalea Banks okay. on that date. She called Zayn Malik once a f and a curry-scented this is Zayn Malik from One Direction. Yeah. Eminem was throwing shade at Lana Del Rey in a song. Hey, you're not a Brooklyn baby. You a Brooklyn Azalea Banks added Lana on Twitter and said, tell him to go back to his trailer park and eat his microwave hot pocket dinner and suck on his sister's <laughs> She has a controversy with Funk Master Flex and called him an old dusty fat and a butch queen. Any closing thoughts on, on, our, on our fellow lady Azalea? 
I think I'm good. This is less so a piece of merch, but more an idea I have for a product yeah. where we do have a lot of old heads coming to our channel. Yeah. You know, we can bring back the earphone. They're getting to that age where they, you know, they're experiencing yeah. hearing loss. And I, I figured, you know, well, this is kind of perfect. You know, why stop with just the earphone, yeah. right? We can bring back the monocles or yeah. the opera vision kind of yeah, monocles. No, there's two of those. So they would be bi -onicles. We could bring back the bionicles. Yeah. And uh, I mean, this has got to be some of the worst no, yeah, merch I've yeah, ever yeah. seen. Neopunk FM.